Hey guys, um, Dave here. I am, uh, I thought I'd take a quick little video and explain how to change out a power converter in your RV. Um, mine's been acting up for a few days. Um, it's basically tripping the, tripping the internal breaker. It's heating up, it's tripping the breaker, so it's, it, the lights are dimming coming back on bright, dimming, coming back on bright, just nonstop, um, driving me crazy. All right, so what I've got is, I'll show it to you. I have a WFCO 65 amp. The model number is actually WF9865. It's a 65 amp um, converter. Anyway, you can see, um, I've sort of jumped ahead a little bit. But what I've got done is, is pretty self-explanatory. I took the um, took the cover off. If your cover looks similar to that, sorry. I usually do everything with a flashlight in my mouth, but it doesn't help much for talking. So four screws, remove the, the panel cover, set that aside. Then I removed four screws off of the panel itself in the corners here. And it pulls out, um, and you can see I've got a real quagmire of of uh, wiring. So you can see my old converter right there. I've already taken. Um, there's four mounting screw holes on the feet right there. They did not put screws on this side. They put two screws on the back side. Um, and I was able to get in there with an inspection mirror and a screwdriver and, and get those out. So the thing's basically ready to pull out and disconnect. So I'm gonna go ahead and attempt that. You're gonna wanna make sure you shut your power off um, and uh, probably disconnect your batteries. Make sure everything's disconnected. Okay, so I'll show you where I'm at. Uh, there's the converter. I've got the. I've got it sitting up on its side right now, so I could disconnect the wiring. Right there, if you can see, right there, that red and black lug. Gonna disconnect both of those. That is your 12 volt positive and negative. And then right here. Sorry, my wife is on the phone. Um, right here is the ground the copper ground, and that's on a separate lug on the side. I will take those off and see if I can pull this out. The other can, only other connection is, is the plug, which uh, just plugs into the outlet on the back of the, the service panel. So let me show you real quick. I haven't, I haven't had this out of the box yet. Um, like I said, this is the IntelliPower 9200. Um, I bought the 70 amp. You you don't want to go down in amperage. I, I'm swapping out a 65 amp. It's okay to go up, but do not go down. Um, again, it's not a problem if you want to swap out a 40 for a 60, or in my case, a 65 for a 70, but don't go the other way around or you'll have problems. All right, here's the little, um, I'm not exactly sure what they call this. It's the little uh, remote. Anyway, this tells you that basically what stage, what process the batteries are in, what process in the charge they're in. And you can also set it if you want to go into a manual um, setting, which I'll get into later why that would be important. Um, it's a different footprint from what I've got. Usually, from what I've seen, there's, these are usually just not that tightly installed, so you probably won't have an issue with that. I know sometimes people have uh, completely different setups where they have like a half panel, and the converter is this bottom section here. Um, but that's okay. You're just you, all you got to do is disconnect that and connect your 12 volt um, positive and negative onto here, your copper ground and um, plug it in. So you can even leave the old one 
on there if you want to because it, it's sort of incorporated into your panel anyway um, this is it got the little wizard on there there's your uh, positive and negative and somewhere on here should be a right there that's where your copper ground will go on that lug right there all right so I'm going to see if I can disconnect the wiring from this and get it pulled out. If you've got a situation similar to mine, you got to just be patient and take your time because it, it was wrapped around every single piece of wire in there and the wires kept getting caught in these feet. And basically the best thing to do it is to unplug this, fish, fish the power cord back to it, and then pull it out. Um, you know, all one piece. Otherwise, this is wrapped around everything. You know, if you do have issues with your converter where it's not working at all, uh, you want to check these first before you condemn anything. Anyway, again, I'm replacing out a 65 amp WFCO to a 70 amp IntelliPower. Um, here's my battery negative coming straight from the batteries. And here is uh, my positive coming from the panel. And then again, the plug, which basically I unplugged Does she have motivation? the old one, and the new one's gonna plug right back in. All right, let's do it. Currently, uh, this job has put my beagle to sleep. Yeah, I'm talking about you. All right, so I got it back in there. It was, uh, it, it took a lot of maneuvering. And all I can say, if I can give you one piece of advice, is just the patience. Um, you gotta be very careful with all this wiring. You don't wanna force anything or push anything. One thing I did do is, if you notice down there, I went through all of those and made sure they were all tight. Um, you don't want anything, any loose connections. So if you can find, if it, you know, while you have this apart, I hope I can help. you want to do whatever you can preventative maintenance wise while you've got stuff apart. Also, I went through all of these lugs, tightened everything on the 12 volt side. Um, just made sure everything was clean and tight. So again, I'm back there. Um, I ran the, I ran the little um, wizard indicator chingadera's thing here um, through the back of the panel and what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to I'm going to mount this in here it's got a little double stick tape on it I'll mount that in there and then I'll be able to see it when I open the panel cover and tell what's going on um, that I just ran through the back of the panel and it plugs in like a telephone cord right there so there if you can see back there on the lugs there's the positive negative 12 volt side make sure those are tight but do not over tighten either oh, i'm gonna go ahead and uh double check everything oh and the ground that's right back there the copper ground lug make sure that's good and tight and clean and, uh, oh, I am going to um, zip a couple screws in the feet there to, uh, to secure this down to the floor so it's not flopping around in there when I'm driving. All right. Okay. So I went through. I double-checked everything for proper tightness. This is so exciting. The beagle is now awake. She's beside herself with excitement. And... Uh, Went out, uh, connected the batteries back on, and I see here the little wizard's uh, crystal ball is blinking normal. So that's pretty exciting. Um, now, see where it says press and hold to cycle through modes? Where um, One instance where that would come in handy is if you were boondocking and you wanted needed to run your generator and you wanted to charge your batteries maximum while in the time you were running your generator 
you could put that into boost mode manually because um, you know it might it might just go into normal mode thinking that it could slow charge your batteries but you don't want to run your generator any longer than you have to so you could manually override it put it in boost mode and get as much charge into your batteries while you're running your generator so that's uh, one of the uh, cool things you can do with that plus just kind of being able to see where you're at in the charge cycle you can kind of tell the condition of your batteries all right so I'm all done um, I'll give you a quick recap I replaced my old um, converter the WFCO 65 amp model number WF 9865 that's just the 65 amp version of their converter yours may be a, a, a 40 or a 50 or a 70 but they're basically the same um, they all pretty much operate the same way some have a few extra features than others um, it's it's a super easy change out super straightforward it's pretty much uh, two wires a uh, 12 volt positive and a negative and then you've got your copper ground and um, your plug uh, the hardest part is is getting to it in my in my situation it was just buried behind the panel um, it, it, way back in there and the wiring was ridiculous that was in the way so most of uh, my issue was just getting the old one out physically and getting the new one in and then uh, drilling the holes for the for the screws I ended up going with uh, self-tapping uh, sheet metal screws and just used a number 8 bit on my uh, my drill motor made it a lot easier I could do it with one hand so here it is um, there's my little charge wizard remote the remote pendant um, that came with it what I did um, I wanted to mount it like over here or over here somewhere, but I didn't, A, I didn't want to cover this, uh, the identification of the fuses. And if I put it here, when I close the door, it, it presses the button, it depressed that button. So it's got some double stick tape on the back. I just stuck it to the fuses. It comes off real easily. I didn't uh, put the meat to it when I stuck it on there. Um, so if I ever need to replace a fuse or check them, it's easy, it's easy to come off. I fed it through the back of the panel. And what's cool about it is that when I close the panel, I can see my green light. So I can tell what my converter's doing, what my charger is doing, and, and basically gives me a, an indication of my batteries. All right, that's about it. One other little piece of advice. Um, if you have this same type of door, which a lot of RVs do, this little clip is a part that breaks pretty often. Mine broke not that too long ago, and um, I was able to buy it on Amazon. I buy everything on Amazon. I bought this converter on Amazon. Anyway, it was cheap. It was a few bucks, uh, prime, and it uh, takes two seconds to change. So, all right, there you go. Again, converter change out, Intel Power 9200. Everything's working good, and no more uh, fading lights. And uh, that's about it. Straightforward, super easy. You need a, a couple screwdrivers, Phillips, flathead. Um, you need a 530 seconds um, Allen wrench. And then uh, get a little magnetic tray to keep all your screws in so you don't drop them down the vent. And that's about it. All right. Thanks for watching. See ya.